What is up guys? Good morning to all of you. Well, it's morning here. So we recently just took off from SoCal and we headed up to Mammoth Lakes area and we are at Glass Creek Campground. And it's a dispersed national forest campground. Well, not really dispersed. It's uh, like unmaintained. There's pit toilets, fire boxes, uh, bear boxes and fire rings and a picnic table. It is free for up to 14 days, but they do ask you to do a donation of $10 per night so that it's up to you, but it helps them to maintain it. Before we go any further, if you haven't been to this channel yet, I am Jesse. We, meaning me and my wife, are Adventure Endeavor. This is our fifth wheel right here, our Ram 2500. And here is a quick view of what we're seeing here. So we pulled into this spot early this morning and we decided just to leave the truck and trailer hooked up. I just got back from a run, did about six miles. We thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how we set up our truck and trailer in our camp, essentially. Things to look out for, things to be aware of, and just overall our from start to finish essentially to get set up. We think there could be a lot of good knowledge for you guys, so let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do when you pull into your spot is make sure that you're going to have room for your slides to clear on both sides because you don't want to be hitting a tree or whatever it could be in your way, picnic table or whatever. And then secondly, for us, because we have a toy hauler, we want to make sure that the ramp can go down in the back because lots of times we use it as a patio and we hang out there, which is really nice. Something else to consider as well is your solar. So we have solar. It's kind of hard to tell, but we have a good amount of solar and we're in the trees. So this spot might be difficult regardless for collecting sun, but we do have the generator and we're kind of over paneled. So I think we'll be okay, but it's just something to keep in mind before you set up. So sun, slide outs, and um, the third thing is if you have a toy hauler, make sure the patio ramp can go down. So the next thing I like to do is look at the front jacks, this one here and this one here, and I like to see the difference in height. So that tells me two things. That tells me A, if when I put some blocks underneath, if I'm gonna need maybe one or two more on the other side, and then B, it also tells me if the site is crooked or not, because you might need to back up the trailer or pull it up onto blocks on one side because you wanna make sure that your tires are on the ground. You don't want your, your tires coming off the ground when you level out the trailer. So that's really important and it's just something to be aware of. They do make some applications that will help you determine with like a level and a built-in app and everything like that. But for us, we just do it manually and we just try to be as careful as we can. One more tip for leveling side to side the trailer. You can kind of just eyeball it here. I'm slightly off, but I'm pretty confident that all four tires will be on the ground after the fact that we level it. So I don't think I'm going to pull up on any blocks this time, but that's something to be aware of. I'll post a video to, to these combo locks here. This is something we recently added and it's super convenient because it gives you more security. You don't need a key to open up your base. So that's a super nice thing. I'll post a video to that as well. So your next step is to chalk your tires. Super important, you don't want your trailer rolling away. Um, I like to put one in the very back, put one in the very front. That's just how I do it. And because I'm paranoid, I do it on both sides. So I use four chocks just to be on the safe side. The next step for us is obviously drop the tailgate. We're gonna unhitch. We have the Anderson hitch. We have a couple videos on that. We'll link those as well if you're curious. So basically we're gonna get ready to drop the trailer. We're gonna do our wiring harness, our safety, our trailer brake safety breakaway, um, our safety chains, and uh, the action for the Anderson, tie everything up, and then we will lower our front jacks. Cool, so we got the trailer unhitched and now we're about to drop our front levelers. It might be hard to tell, but this side right here, 
I just used one um, wood block. Over here I used two because it's slightly off camera, not much. It probably would have been fine without it, but it's just something I like to do. I like to make it as level as possible. And yeah, so we'll lower our jacks and we'll, we'll pull the truck out. Cool, so now we got the truck out of the way. Make sure you have plenty of clearance. You don't want your trailer coming down and hitting your truck when it's parked. I mean, you see the craziest things. So now you can tell our trailer is super high in the front because with the Anderson, you need to raise it quite high. We do have the Lippert uh, six point automatic leveling system, but what I like to do first and foremost is go ahead and lower the front down so it is somewhat level. And then I kind of go from there. Once it is somewhat level manually, then I go ahead and toss a block of wood under the other four jacks just to kind of protect the jack and uh, give it a nice stable base. We are looking into getting snap pads. Unfortunately, they have been back ordered due to COVID and all of that. And snap pads are really cool rubber feet that snap on. And when we get them, we'll do a video on them. So for now, block of wood. So we got all of our blocks of wood down and now the next step is just to click auto level and I like to watch it, pay attention and make sure it's doing everything correctly that I want. Worst case scenario, you can always click on or off and it will abort it if it's doing something that doesn't look correct. So for the most part, it starts from front to back and then it, and then it attempts to do side to side. It's, it works pretty well. Overall, we're pretty happy with it. I do think maybe that I need to recalibrate the level. I think it's off slightly. It tends to lean down one side. I just gotta find the instructions online and go ahead and calibrate the system. It's totally fine. It doesn't really bother us. It's just more of like me getting annoyed by it. So overall, we're pretty happy with the six point hydraulic level. A few moments later. As you can tell, we just had a success on the auto level. So go ahead and turn off your jacks. You can close up this bay. You're not gonna be using this bay anymore, as well as this bay. And then now we're gonna go ahead and go inside and open up our slides. Like I said, guys, before you did everything we just did, make sure your slides have plenty of clearance to come out. Don't ask me how I know this. <laughs> and basically our slide switches are here and we have our bedroom and then our two opposing slides inside. So one super important thing that we like to do is come in and make sure nothing is gonna impede the slide. It's really dirty, but like, I don't know if you can tell, but we have a cabinet over there that is uh, open. So it popped open. So you need to make sure that doesn't crunch when you open the slide. Same thing in here. Make sure there's no obstructions. So, come back here take a look everything looks clear everything looks clear when everything is clear go ahead and uh, open up your slides if you happen to have a helping hand it's not a bad idea to have somebody outside just to make sure you have enough clearance everywhere and then somebody else can operate the slide or a lot of newer RVs have remotes to do the slides. So just a little tip that might help you. But I know for a fact that our clearance is good. So just gonna open it up. As far as that goes, now our trailer is fully set up. The slides are out. What we do is we go into the toy box and we have a table that we set up here in the living room. And then uh, sometimes we put a table outside for barbecue and grilling. So let's go ahead and do that.
one final step that we normally do depending on weather conditions is we will drop the patio super nice beautiful view here you can tell we just have woods behind us so we'll go ahead and put the patio down uh, we have a screen that we lock down and it's just a really nice hangout area all right guys so that's pretty much it so we put out a trash can two chairs our mat which kind of helps from bringing dust into the trailer helps a little bit uh, and then we put out our smoker I do throw a cable lock through it right here just for peace of mind I mean we're in a campground I mean there's not there's probably won't be any issues our second chair right here and that's pretty much our outdoor setup we do have the picnic table that comes with the camp or with your spot or whatever yeah and then at night because we are in bear country what we'll do is we will take our trash um, cans and we'll put them in the bear box so and maybe even the smoker I'm not sure we haven't decided yet that is it that is how we set up our camp that's how we drop our trailer that's how we disconnect that's how we level the trailer pretty simple because we've been doing it for a long time um, it's definitely more difficult if we stay in a spot for a long time and you're like oh i gotta do this and that and you tend to forget so if you're not full time don't be too hard on yourself it definitely is a little more challenging but for us being full time we move roughly every two weeks so this is our overall setup we're set up we're good for two weeks now we really hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it brought you some value and like always don't forget to subscribe and if it brought you value and you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up it really helps us out and we will catch you guys on the next one